Ah, the last few days of summer are upon us. May as well hold on to it as long as we can by doing some gluing of our summer digital images for our seasons glue book that we are using in the open collaboration hashtag using the same images we being amy from doki doki forest and myself have hosted this open collaboration which just means anyone who wants to play along is more than welcome to do so we ask that you tag us in or do a shout out or something so that we know what to go look for what you're doing because we'd love to see uh, right now Sylvia at Sylvia D is using our hashtag using the same images. She just did a summer video as did Christina from Christina's Shack and Coralie at Magic by the Ocean have all already done their summer digital videos and I cannot wait to go see them. Ladies, if you're watching, I have not watched yours because I didn't want to be influenced. I wanted to just glue my own thing and then go see what everybody else did. So that's what we're doing today. You can see that I already have them all cleaned up and sorted by size. Biggest ones are on top. Fussy cuts are at the bottom because those are the ones I do last, as are the words. So I'm just going to move a few things around and get to gluing. Today's glue is going to be a special glue. I got a six, six or eight, I think an eight pack of these purple Avery glue sticks and I've used them all but when they get down to a certain point there's still quite a bit of glue in them and what I did I saved them all and I put them in the microwave for just a few seconds five seconds maybe six seconds and I watched every every second I watched to make sure it didn't bubble over when it was liquid I poured it into one of the empty ones which wasn't quite empty and I did that for all of them and so I, I have Quite a bit of glue that I you know maybe a fifth of a stick took me about a minute to do maybe two minutes anyway that's the glue I'm going to use for these summer images and it's just kind of an experiment I'm gonna melt that top layer down a little bit so it's not so bumpy it's an experiment to see how well it holds does it hold as well as it does before it got melted I can't imagine that it wouldn't it seems they heat it up to make it in the first place. So why would it matter? But if you've been here a little while, you know that one of my favorite sayings is nothing's ever wasted. Nothing's ever wasted. And all that glue in the bottom of those cartridges drives me crazy. So I'm going to, and I did it with, with the, uh, this too. And I scotch create. I've done it a lot with scotch create. See, when it gets down, there's still quite a bit of glue. There's that much glue in there. Why not use it? And I didn't mix them. I, I save all the Scotch Create when I have five or six of them, then I do it. I saved all the purple when they were all done, then I did it. I don't cross-pollinate them because they're different formulas. They work very differently. So I do have some standards. When these glue sticks get sticky like this, these are baby wipes and man, they take care of that sticky like nobody's business. So we have a little bit of housekeeping before we get to gluing, but man, it just helps so much to get that junk out of there. And then the caps just slide on like they were new. I just made a mess of this one. So I might as well do this one too while we're at it. And then we can get busy. I don't know what's in these baby wipes, but I think they'll take paint off a fence. They take ink off your fingers and stuff off the mat and this glue right off you know they're hypoallergenic they're made for babies butts and yet and yet i haven't found anything that this won't remove which is kind of scary all right i haven't really got a game plan for this batch they're in my basket as i said from largest down to smallest so and i hope i didn't miss any when i when i watched amy's flip through of our of our magazine summer magazine pictures there were so many that she had that I did not I don't know how I, I know how I missed the pup pops I, I put it away because I was gonna put it in my cookbook area I get that but the rest of them I don't know how I spaced so bad but I did and I haven't found those yet the MIA images I figured I'd find a little pile in here somewhere with them and I 
I have not. I love what Amy did with this. She cut the octopus out. I love the water and the lights, so I didn't want to take him out. But he looked so cool in with the tubers. If you've not seen her video, go go watch her video on, on her flip through of the magazine summer images. All right, I'm just going to start here where there's a lot of blank space and see if anything that I have here in my basket will lend itself. These colors kind of go with this pink and blue cornhole game and this could be the cottage where everybody goes to play the cornhole game. Maybe, maybe. This, these colors also match. I like that longer piece there. Oh, there's a pupper floating, floating down the river. So I'm gonna just audition some things, see what I like where. I don't wanna take a lot of time with this. Famous last words. Sometimes it just takes a while. Oh, I love this little guy. She, Amy included some crabs. I love that. We're gonna put him right on the beach. I'm gonna have to cut him out though. It's Sunday, I have Mr. Limp Limpet playing on the television out there. The music just takes me back to being at grandma's house when I was a kid. I made his underneath not straight, so he looks like he's in the sand. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the decision that he's gonna live there and put him down before I lose him. Mm, probably goes that way, but I'm gonna put it this way. I'm gonna put it that way, and I'm gonna cover what looks like a sideways tree up. Because <laughs> if I write it, if I put it right way up, it wouldn't look like a sideways tree, would it? But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna put it my way, my book, my way. Oh, little dude. Everybody loves summer. Some, some summertime, some, some summertime. All right, we're gonna go with this, this layout. These were together, I started cutting them apart, but then I thought, well, maybe they're gonna stay together because they're all swimming. I don't know, I might, I've already decided I'm not gonna overthink this. I've already made the decision, they're all gonna live together, so. So we're going with it. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing, and maybe it's just because it's just getting started, but there's lots of lumps because of my experiment. And that was the whole point, see how it worked. But for glue booking, I'm not too worried about it and they, they sort of rub right out anyway. I'll just have to keep my wet wipe handy. I have some new members over on Patreon. That is awesome. Thank you so kindly. Always happy to have more more peeps, more more fun, more conversations, more comments. I'm greedy that way. And that means more people are getting the free digitals. As I mentioned in another video, recent video, I am putting all of my digitals, either giving them away to my $5 Patreon members, or as I just learned, you can we as content creators can now sell posts so if i just wanted to sell a digital that i'm giving away to patreon members i can just sell that so it's a one-time purchase instead of a monthly but if you're paying three or four three dollars per which is the minimum you can't sell anything for patreon on patreon for less than three dollars but i was gonna have to up all of my Etsy prices anyway because I don't get any money from Etsy. Anything that sells on Etsy, Etsy keeps all the profits for the most part. So the prices were going to have to go up on Etsy anyway. All the movies from this time period, they all sound like Christmas movies to me because they sing in every movie. That high-pitched Christmas music sing-songy type songs very nostalgic oh i love that i love that popsicle now that i'm down further into the stuff it's not as lumpy which is great it's like the normal glue this is good it's good putting them smack dab in the middle i kind of like the bright white behind these 
It's very clean and summery to me. Maybe I'll change my mind. We'll see. I have, I have other things here that are color coordinated from that same page, but I don't want to overdo it. The kayak might end up there, maybe. And maybe the sunglasses will end up somewhere. Maybe. We'll have to see how it goes in the end. Under the water. Maybe that should go toward the bottom since it's under the water. Because we're looking up at the bottom, the underside of the lily pads, I think. Ooh, she's overseeing the whole thing. Let's see if we can do this all on one page. Trim this down just a little bit. Wrong glue. Why don't you get them all out? Oh, I have them all out. I have almost every glue I own out. I got Scotch Create right here and the Avery right here and some Aline's right here. Who put stuff away? Uh, clearly not me. So there is a little bit of crumbling, but not enough to be irritating and it seems to melt away when pressing the things down. So I'd say I would do that again. It only cost me a couple minutes time and I feel better about throwing away the empty cartridges because I know they're truly empty. So she is overseeing. She's like female Neptune. She's overseeing this. I want less of that green. Stay tuned to the end because I have some cool things I want to show you and give you. So stay tuned. So I do have a winner too of the guess how much time it took me to cut, sort, and glue the magazine images. I have a winner to announce there. That'll be sometime later in the video as well. Yes, that is me trying to get you to watch a whole video average watch time i know that some of you god love you they you watch the whole video and so this of course does not pertain to you however the average watch time of the 12 days of comp books video which was an hour long process video average watch time you know what i'm gonna make that a giveaway because i am liking these giveaways i think they're fun i get to give some of my stuff away make some happy mail which makes me happy and makes the people getting it happy so this is the giveaway for another time today's giveaway or today's guess how many is guess what the average watch time of the hour-long video that I just put out about how to make a password keeper I'll link it below so if you haven't seen it you can watch it it's it's pretty fun and I, I am just ecstatic as to how it turned out. I love, love, love it. So if you haven't seen that, watch that one next. But just guess how long the average watch time is. This girl is reading and we have some beautiful books. Oh, oh look, a little mechanical crab. I'm going to put him there too. So I have the girl reading, a reading desk, but I'm not going to put all these greens together. Let's go with a different color pattern. Ooh, the seashell bathroom. Here's some more books, reading books, reading clouds, and lake. I think we'll put all these together. Maybe I can put them all together. They'll, they'll kind of go. If I put that on the end beautiful this girl out reading outside that beautiful office reading in her field of flowers under the beautiful blue sky next to the lake I have a book thing left over one can never have too many books I think we'll put it for another another place don't really need to see under the table so she can she can cover that up just a little bit not much not much we're not gonna lose too much 
I'm very excited about the next couple of 12 days of comp books. I have one already printed out. The other uh, has digital kits. They all, so far, number two, three, and four all have digital kits to go with and all the digital kits are done. <laughs> and I, I cannot wait to show you. I just can't wait to show you. And I'm hoping that later today I can make the second one, excuse me, it would be number three. I absolutely love it. I love that water rushing over the dock. Uh, active lake, like an active volcano, but much nicer. I can't wait to go over and see what everyone else has done with these images. Everyone is so creative and we all do it so differently. And that's the beauty of this hashtag, hashtag using the same images because we all do it and see these things together so differently than each other. This looks like a wonderful field to read in. So I'm gonna use my other books here. It even looks like some of the same flowers are in that meadow. So I want those to go together. And that face, that little face, he's so cute. I put him on every single page if I could. Oh, I still have stuff from the magazine. I, still, I was wondering what that was. Leftovers. I'm gonna see if I can fit all of this on here because this would be a perfect day at the lake. So. Behind this meadow on the other side of the road is a lake. And this is a perfect day at the lake. We're gonna jump and run and splash in the water. We're gonna read outside. Even the Beastlies are happy. Happy, happy Beastlies to be out at the, out at the cottage or out at the lake. And we're gonna sit on the sitting dock and have a bonfire as the day winds down. I'm going to cut that blue sky off and put it up high in the sky. Jump, Go jump in the lake. And read, and chase bubbles and sit on the sitting dock and as the day winds down we're going to have a bonfire and go kayaking at sunset and just enjoy just enjoy Let's see if we go up higher she can fold over and there there's a perfect day at the lake I missed her she should have been with the in the back, couple pages back with the lily pads Oops. Oh well, we'll have to find a new home for her. This is a collection of shades. I wonder will these fit her? Oh, they will. Ha <laughs> ha They'll fit her. <laughs> oh, that's fun. All right. Of course, you can't really tell what it is now. Should we put them up on top of her head? That's where I wear my glasses all the time, up top of my head. Put them all together. Future so bright, I gotta wear shades, right? That looks like her sky. I kept my cut, my off cuts, and there were some smaller pieces, so we have to find homes for those. And I'm gonna put him here too, because every page is better with a. Oh, there is already a dog. It's because every page is better with a dog. We know that. We know that. I love these together. Oh, I like the color combos. You know, when you're cruising around in the convertible with the top down, you know the mixtapes are on and the music is loud. I love this. Cruising in the summertime. I love it.
I know that this is her bathroom. It has to be her bathroom and her underwater castle. So they have to go together. Maybe that's where she's headed. Oh my God, I gotta pee. <laughs> this reminds me of summer nights. Beautiful, I love the colors. And the moon. I'm gonna put her and her bathroom over here. And these beautiful swimmy unicorns in the pool. They're so cute. Very happy. Happy and content little unicorn peeps. Here's all my teeny weeny little pieces. I have to find room for the berries. Ooh, seashells and pearls. That looks like it belongs to her bathroom. Unicorn bubbles in the pool. Oh, yum fest. Oh, more unicorn bubbles, perfect. These are gonna go on the other page. Oh, a bunch of baby ducks in the pool, in the tub. <laughs> this is part of the lily pads yet. I'll put the ducks there. This is kind of my random page. These are unicorn bubbles. Maybe I'll do this. I'll put this on this page and the unicorn bubbles with the unicorns. I love it when a plan comes together. Alrighty. Coming in on the home stretch. Beautiful cottage on the lake. There's lake water behind that wonderful little cottage. And right nearby is this water park, this fun water park. Oh my God, I put it on upside down. Why didn't you say anything? Come on, come on, come on. Whoops. Pay attention. It's important to pay attention to what you're doing. Oh. Okay. Let's do them upside right this time. Fun water park. Behind it is the lake. Across the street is a water park. Where lots of fun games can be played. And this is the beautiful route to get to the cottage at the lake. Little Shop of Horrors, the original with Jack, a very young Jack Nicholson, is running now. If you can hear the hollering in the background, feed me! Feed me, I'm hungry. It's not Bitsy. It's the man-eating Venus flytrap. So with that little bit of glue that I saved from each one of the empty purple Avery glues, I have plenty to do this whole summer digital images project works for me. When I cut these things, I try not to cut a critter in half. I try not to cut something in half. I try and be nice to the... Nobody wants to be cut in half, right? Cute little elephant walking in the water park. Okay, I have to find room for my berries. I think I will put the kayak there because he hasn't found a home yet. Maybe I'll put the ducks there with the other ducks. They're swimming in the tub. Oh, I put them upside down too. Holy crap. Come on, Care. Get with the program. What's the problem? I know the problem. I've got a lot to do today and I'm here doing this. <laughs> And I have a guilty conscience, and that weighs on my my mind. Home for the berries. Here, I guess. I have a lot of white space here. Or no, I found some goodies. More cassette tapes. I love these cassette tapes. But we'll have a little berry section right up here. So I have a little bit of fussy cutting to do, a few last minute 
things to peace and then we'll do the flip through. I love back to school season. I just love it. I don't usually like these little tiny glue sticks because I'm used to using a giant one. This to me is like using chapstick and I go through them a lot. However, these were on sale two pack for 25 cents, 12 and a half cents per. I had to try it. Even if it's just for glue booking, it's purple washable school glue sticks. So I got eight 16 for a whopping $2. I had to try it. I haven't tried it yet. Another thing that I got for myself on the Amazon school sale, these are my use my cut everything scissors and they're a few years old. They still work okay, but I wanted a nice sharp new pair. So these Amazon basics, they're a little bit bigger, which I think will be nice. They, they're heavier, I believe sharper than these were when they started, $2.99 get yourself a pair of new scissors just because and get rid of the old ones you don't have to keep everything you ever buy bye so i want to show you one last part of our seasons glue book when amy and i started this project a year ago we just harvested two magazines together, two fall magazines together and glued them together and in winter we couldn't find any winter magazines except that one birds and blooms i said well let's just do some digitals and if we're going to make digitals why not give them to give them away so that people can play along because not everyone can get the magazines that we're using and so we've done that winter spring and summer but there were no fall digitals well there are now these are my fall digitals amy has her own set of fall digitals we are giving these away for free. You just have to go to our Patreon page, click download, and there they are, free for the taking. I like this collection so much. I printed it twice, and I'm using this for my fall daily journal. So just a quick, quick glance. Of course, there are beastlies. There's always beastlies, but they're all different kinds of things. Something a little bit different this time. In, in this, this is kind of like my overload of Christmas cute, that watercolory. Just kind of fun clip art kind of stuff. A background page. And these could be either used as faux washi tape, page edging backgrounds for some of the pictures backgrounds in in general can be used for anything maybe tabs these will be in the final flip through okay so this is what i have left <laughs> not much one little piece of trim i can't believe i cut out some of the lake and i didn't put it anywhere i didn't put the blue sky anywhere and then just a couple pieces of things that i trimmed off not much at all at the end of the video i'll tell you how my glue my reused microwaved glue works or didn't that'll be at the end of the video also i will tell you who won the how long did it take me to glue the magazine images question from a previous video so stay tuned so this is where we left off with the magazines and we're gonna go right into the, actually this is where we left off with the magazines. I had these three random, not terribly related pieces left. And I liked that this had the pinks and the blues. I thought that went really well with this game. This is a cute little cottage on the, on the lake. I just think it's adorable. Maybe it's up by Pictured Rock up in the UP, I don't know some beautiful things on the porch so it kind of works together it kind of doesn't it's kind of but by cutting this bigger piece apart and using it kind of ties the whole thing together a little bit this was kind of a difficult challenge because this time our kits were so very different um, as far as theme and color and style the two digital kits were very different so it was a challenge which is always a good thing to make them work together to bring them together into some sort of cohesive layout this is a nice mix of the two different kits i believe mine amy's 
mine, mine, Amy's, 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 mine, Amy's, mine, mine. <laughs> and they work beautifully together. I love how this page turned out, uh, this two-page spread turned out. There's a lot of white, but it just feels crisp and clean and bright like an, a fresh summer day. So I don't have a problem seeing the pages in the background. Sometimes. Sometimes I want to cover them all. Sometimes I don't. I love this summer thing with all the cutouts of the mountains and the bear and the eagles and the stars and camping. I just think that's so fun. This looks like a dock to me, this part of the R. <laughs> you know, because everything looks like the lake to me. <laughs> Very fun. I love the coolness, the calmness of this page spread. They all work together so beautifully. And this might all be Amy's. Maybe even the book is Amy's. This might be all Amy's except for the quote. It's funny how once you work with them long enough and over and over between printing them and cutting them and organizing them and then gluing them, sometimes I don't remember who did what. I think that's kind of funny. Again, a little bit of space here that I could have filled maybe with some of these pieces but I didn't this is in my mind clearly bubbles not clouds it's not water it's not lake and so I can't make it work and there's nothing on this page that needs to be covered although I could have put something like that over here to bring in more of the blue but he's got quite a bit of blue this has quite a bit of blue and so does she so it all works and there's some blue images in in the green here so it, i think it works without having to try to tie it in it already is uh, well coordinated i think this reminds me so much of my ridley he that's how he felt about every day of his life he was just happy and he would have jumped for joy at the bubbles if he had bubbles looks like our fence could be our backyard it just reminds me of Ridley so I love that that he's in there a lot of lake stuff here and I think it was I think it was Coralie who did I, I have since after, as soon as I was done gluing I went and I watched the videos of the other girls and I think it was Coralie who had a perfect day at the lake and that's what this is too, a perfect day at the lake. You get up and you go swimming, you, you get your first morning splash and you read by the lake for a while. And then you sit and chat with somebody, maybe have a few glasses of wine, maybe go for a canoe ride. Then as it gets dark, you have a bonfire and you just sit and watch the sun go down or maybe go for a, an evening kayak cruise. Perfect day at the lake. This one was fun. All of the sunglassed people together. I love that the, you know, just, it's just summer. It just says summer. Going in the convertible with your flip-flops on, sticking your feet out the car while you're cruising down the road, listening to your mixtapes on your way to have a, a milkshake. And I think it might have been Christina who kind of had the same thing. She put these things together and said, yep, she's on her way to go have a milkshake. So great minds think alike. This one reminds me so much of my Riley. That's kind of her attitude, and she, it just looks so much like her. So I'm glad I got to use that image, some of my favorite images. The berries kind of threw off the color thing, although there's a red red in here. Because these are all pink, but there's red cherries, there's red cassette tapes, there's red here, red here. So it, it did kind of work together, throwing these this berry area into this sunglass feature and I did cockeye her a little bit and I cockeyed one over here to balance those out if just one is cockeyed it looks kind of goofy but when you have on either side sort of book ending each other it looks on purpose it looks like part of the design this too is cockeyed too just kind of on purpose rather than oh look one's crooked and it has to be really cockeyed, not just sort of cockeyed, because then it would be like, oh, look, one's crooked. And this this one was the last one, so I had all the things that I couldn't find homes for otherwise. I, the colors here all work together. This bright cityscape and the the unicorn-style bubbles and the 
the rainbow soft pastel rainbow unicorns and the realistic but same color family flowers work together this girl i'm bummed i cut her head off i didn't even realize i'd put the sunshine right over her face uh, she's headed this is her bathroom under the sea this is her bathroom and that's where she's going to the ladies room but i cut off her head i can't believe i did that <laughs> and then he's just too cute for words he's got a he couldn't be left out and i try to put a dog on every page right there's a dog there and a dog there and a dog there so we all know whose book this is there's no dog there but there is a crab there's a clue dog there and a crab it's like my first and last name oh two dogs here that's why this one didn't get a dog and no dog here and no crab here <laughs> although there might be there's a lot there's a lot going on there's a duck and a porpoise and an alligator and a bird there's a dog right there and if i'm desperate a hot dog but there is a dog oh there's another dog over here floating so there's a dog on almost every page and if there's no dog there's certainly a crab this was great fun i enjoyed this immensely and the good news I have room for the beautiful fall images. So the whole book will come full circle, one full year from fall to fall. And because we didn't have any digital images, we didn't do it last year. It's cool that we can do it this year. And so each of our seasons has magazine and digital, magazine and digital, magazine and digital. Our fall is magazine and digital. I am thrilled with how that worked out. So I'm going to go get to glue in my fall images together. So stay tuned for that video. It's coming soon to a Krabby Crafter channel near you. As for my glue, it was kind of crumbly at first and that bothered me, but it seemed to be less crumbly the more I used it. So that, you know, it was a problem at, be at the beginning, but not so much at the end. However, it seemed to get everywhere. I glue a lot. And I don't usually make a huge mess. And it just seemed like I was constantly wiping this off and wiping this off. And my fingers were a mess. Maybe it was just me having a bad glue day. But I've had bad glue days before and not had just a gluey nightmare mess. And so I, I want to think maybe it's a little more melty than it was originally. I don't know that I'll do it again with this. I've done it with my Scotch Create and it works fine. I don't have that problem. But with this purple stuff, even though I hate to throw out a chunk of glue every single time, I hate the mess worse. So I won't be microwaving and saving the last little bit of this glue. Again, I'll let that go. But it, it went quite a long ways. I still have almost as much as I started with. So I'll probably use that up on something and, and be frustrated by it. But I, I probably won't do it again. With the purple now let's go and test i glued everything down with this purple that i microwaved and saved from my my empties and the stuff is glued down where it's lifting just means i didn't get glue on it but when i get to the glued part it's glued down it's so it holds just fine it doesn't peel off the only place it peels off is where I didn't have any or enough glue. So in that aspect, it does work. So if you don't mind the mess, having sticky fingers, then by all means, recapture some of that glue rather than letting it go to waste. So that's that's my little glue experiment. Glue those corners down. And I can feel on the back of the paper there was never any glue where it's coming up. You know, you can tell whether it was ever glued or not, and it wasn't. Like right here, there's a corner lifting up, and I know it's just because I didn't put the glue all the way around like like I should have here too. But that is that is me being in a hurry. That's not the glue not sticking. But yeah, once it got on my fingers, I couldn't get it off. I, ha I With my wipes even, wouldn't take it off. I had to go scrub it off. It was awful. I didn't like that. I don't like stuff on my hands. So that that is my tail of my glue and my summer digital images. Next up is fall. So again, stay tuned. In the meantime, go love up your beast, please. 
Because you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. I'm going to take it to the lake. Out for now.